I've always kind of been a big fan of frameworks, that are sort of guidelines to help improve workflow, make it more efficient, um, especially when it's kind of like similar tasks and you've kind of got to hit like the same kind of milestones for each brief. And I, I guess frameworks are a good way of minimizing stress or they just make sure you do everything right. Because I kind of be doing a lot of work for creators where I kind of have a, a lot of similar stuff to do and trying to kind of develop my own kind of framework or guidelines to make sure I do everything right. And so the main focus I've had currently is trying to develop a structure to the initial sort of, um, the initial conversations basically between design and creator to make sure everyone's on the same wavelength. So if you're not like communicating clearly at the start, you're gonna start making the wrong thing that you don't even want to make. No one's going to be happy and you're going to waste your time, they're going to be unhappy with what you're doing and what's the point in that? Um, I always think like, this is way too high isn't it? There's too much head guy fucking laughing at me as he's going past. Standard. Standard embarrassment. I guess not everyone has like a design background is a thing and so a lot of the time words kind of mean different things. I think the main one is rebrand. People don't mean rebrand but that's a different story. <laughs> I guess sort of the first step is like making sure you're on the same page about what you're after, I guess. Hello. Hello. This is looking very fancy. Just try and try what we've got to hand. So yeah, these um, traffic light thing can be a thing, maybe. <laughs> I was wondering it's what that was. Of, that works. It's a bit of an elaborate really way works. to light the wall, but um, kind of looks I interesting. Brought, I brought a... Um, my lights if you wanted to see how that yeah definitely let's try everything this looks really good though cool yeah i've also got nice and soft that's huge if we, if we need to like get more light we've got the gem ball that we can turn on and you know dim that up and down to add but yeah let's try your, your yeah but i've only brought the one in yeah but it's a good experiment anyway to see what it does it's not like terrain and buildings and stuff it's like tiles right and it won't even be the whole board it'll be like three or four hexagonal tiles in the middle so... I think like quite often the term rebrand is just thrown around when people don't really mean rebrand because the brand isn't just just the visual stuff it's you know I guess many with creators it's mainly their personality is the main thing that defines their brand it's how an audience sees that person or company whereas like all the visual stuff, all the all the graphics, all the design stuff, that's visual identity. Slightly different, but so now I, I kind of always try to make sure when someone comes to me asking, can I have a rebrand? I want to make sure, what does that look like? I literally say, what does that look like to you? And all they say, oh, I just want some updated assets or I want a refresh of this. I guess I, like the specifics of the words and their definitions don't really matter. So long as like both people have the same understanding of what's needed. I guess sort of like the second stage of conversation is like the boring bit of deliverables, all the nerdy, nerdy bullshit that you kind of got to get out of the way. It's kind of getting out that just, just the tedious questions of like, what software do they use? How are they going to implement stuff? Especially when it comes to like stuff like Twitch overlays and basically making sure, making a list of everything they're expecting on handover, basically. Um, I guess sort of like the last step is the, is the fun step, which is talking ideas, talking creative stuff. It's basically just sharing visual ideas of what the end result could look like. And I, this is so much easier to do 
in person or on a call rather than jointed emails because you can sort of in real time share bits of different images and specifically say what about each bit you like. First time I did this well I think was when I was doing Lydia's assets and we hopped on a call and had a long talk about it and it, it worked out well because I knew exactly what she wanted out of it. And I guess more recently as well doing G stuff as well. Oh, we, we must have chatted for, I don't know, just a couple, an hour to a couple of hours, just figuring it all out. And I think because we had such a long conversation and then going into the actual creative process, so much more efficient. Oh.